There is some boys and girls, meet my friend. He started learning video editing a few days ago and he has seen 15 or above video tutorials but still his video don't look professional. Now, who can tell me that no matter how many tutorials you watch but if you make these 5 mistakes then your video editing is still going to look cheap. I have been doing video editing for the last 6 years and from there I have curated these few mistakes. So take a pen and paper, if you keep these points in mind then just by completing this video your video editing will improve 2-3 to three times. Mistake number 1 bad cuts and choppy transition. So this is a very simple point. By using which you can transform your cheap looking video into a premium looking video. Whatever cuts you are making in your video, the flow of your video should remain good. Even though the scenes are changing, but the flow of the video is not getting broken. But if there were bad cuts here, the video would have looked something like this. It will spoil the viewing experience. Look for pacing and continuity. It is very important to have a good cuts. If you put a cut between two videos, then make sure that you cut on similar frame or similar movement. If it happens, then the cut looks very smooth. And if the audio in your video is also developed, then use J cut and L cut techniques to make your cut feel smooth. So if you want to know more about the J cut and L cut technique, click on the top right corner video or I will put in the video link in the description. Mistake number 2 Phones and Emotions Phone has so much power that it can give the video a premium look to your normal video and cheap look to a well edited video also. Using wrong font in a wrong place makes the video look very unprofessional. So the solution is simple. You need to understand what the tone and emotion of your video. Is your video serious or fun or cinematic? Different phones have to be used in different vibes. Look, there are lots of phones but the phone types are very limited. Phone type is Sheriff and it has three styles Sans Sheriff, Sheriff, and Slab Sheriff. There are also handwritten fonts or child fonts which you can also use. Then there is also a monospace font which will give you a little mechanical and coding type feel. Now I will tell you which font will look good on which type of video or on which emotion. So the font will look good for informative videos in sensory fonts like Helvetica, Arial, or the Poppins. For cinematic title, you can use fonts like Trajan, Open, or Water Thailand. These fonts are classic and gives you an authority look. For subtitles, you can use lights and sheriffs like Monstrite, Open Sans. It doesn't take away the attention from your main video and still gives readability. And you can use bolts and setup for fun videos. Or you can use it even for playful points. So Mr. Beast himself uses these fonts like Comic Asses, Comic New, Lucky's Guy, because, well, these give a fun look. You can also pair with complementary phone like you can use a bold phone with a light phone. It gives a very cinematic feel. And if you want more cinematic feel then you can increase the tracking of the phone. So what is tracking? So tracking means the space in between your letters within a word. So when you increase tracking to your video it will look more cinematic. Mistake number 3 Animation Curves and Smoothness The biggest issue I have seen in the beginner edits is the lack of smoothness especially in animation like these two. Look at the animation side by side, which one looks more promotional to you? The secret here is the animation curve. Without the animation curve, the movement looks very robotic. To fix this, go to your keyframe properties and apply Ease In and Ease Out. Now, what is Ease In? Ease In me by that is the animation starts smoothly, but then it will suddenly become faster towards the end. So what is Ease Out? The animation will start fast, but will end smoothly. There are lots of animation curves and principles about which you can go read it or do some research. Play around with these curves and use them as per the need. But yes, I can say that only this improving one thing can make your video to look like professional in seconds. The next tip is very important but first, if you find this video informative or valuable, then like and subscribe. Now let's proceed to the mistake number 4, color themes and inconsistency. Inconsistent colors or old colors themes gives a very cheap look to your video. If you do everything red, yellow and green in one frame, then your video will look bad. And it's not about the colors, there is nothing wrong with the red, green and yellow. It's about the shade of color you are using. For example, think red background with yellow test. How it will look. But if you use these colors and say the color tones, it will look way better. Keeping similar colors throughout the video also creates a brand identity. When you are a beginner then you may not know which colors go with which color and how colors look good. And so for that you can go to colorhunt.com. On this website you get many color themes and color combinations which are used by many professional people or artists. 
So you will get information from there. Color is not just colors in test. Grading is also very important. If your video wants to be a little fun and energetic type, then you can keep bright colors. If you want any serious cinematic or emotional video, then keep your color more dark and cool type. Just keep in mind that keeping maintain consistency from start to the end of the video. Keep the full video in similar color. So if you want more color alerts for your videos, just go to freshlerts.co and here you can see so many alerts you can choose from. Next up, sound design and music. There are two ways of mu music on video. One is to apply a lot of fancy effects, do crazy, very engaging flash edit. And second is that you add a very good music. Now let me know if you are using a very good music without any editing. That the video looks professional, but without good music, no matter how much you get it, the video looks bad. But there is a point where a video is without music, it may look good, and that is the sound effects. Because remember one thing, in real life, no motion or activity happens without sound. So when there is no sound effect on any activity or video, then your viewer is not able to feel you all. Hence, sound effects are very important. And also the music. So there are plenty of ways to use music. Many people pick up random music and put it on video, but you need to give it according to emotions. Music has to be chosen according to the topic or talking page or according to the vibe you want to give in the video. In many people's video, I have seen that the music starts or ends at the beginning. And that too gives a very not professional feel. Let me tell you a trick. Whenever you are starting or editing music, do not do it on the silent part of the video. Otherwise, it will look very strange. Stop the music at the peak of some audio so that the transition is hidden. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and boys and girls. You can download this project file, link in the description. If you find this video useful, give a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video.